Still struggling with it. How do you make a mouse animate when somebody is talking? Yeah. And they had, uh, as I said a couple of nights ago, they had two schools of thought. I was in charge of one. And Fleur and Willard Bowski, who's dead now, he got shot in the He He had this theory that after every uh, word, you shut your mouth. <laughs> so I remember confounding him with, how do you do? <laughs> he couldn't answer that one. <laughs> but he still persisted, and I mentioned earlier in the week that long after, this was 1931, long after I came back to work at Max's when he moved to Miami, 1989, and so they had just stopped closing the mouth after he was. But for all these years, well, I guess most of you know this is my early adventure as a Pluto specialist. Uh, but I was just thinking as I saw people going through my time. It was, no matter what they did, and this is a prime example, they couldn't do anything with Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> In the early black and white, you know, he was a mean guy. He really was. He beat up animals and kicked the hell out an old man with one leg. <laughs> Cool room hustler type, you know? <laughs> but when they clean them up, they, you know, uh, as uh, Mickey got that uh, well known wolf, we're going to worry about the Indies. You know, something lasted like that. So he, he picked them up, and he picked them up so well, he turned them into a unit. <laughs> I don't think he and many. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's a very good example because the other characters are so vigorous, you know. Donald Duck is nasty, temperate and goofy as his face. Guy is happy as a lot. Yeah. And the dog is a good dog. You know? But Mikey, well, Minnie, he's doing a dance there. And and he sits there doing his silly thing. And, you know, nobody could find a thing to do with him. <laughs> the only time I really unleashed it was in that in, 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 in that sorcerer's apprentice. <coughs> that was a good job, but that was the story. It could have been Donald Duck in there. Of the story. But that was the one time that Mickey, you know, turned into an actor. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you know I, was, I was sitting there thinking about the the hands because they always called them with four fingers and uh, three fingers and a thumb. Three fingers, yeah. And, but looking at Donald and, and that little and that sequence, sometimes it looked like he had four fingers and a thumb, and then he would and then he would lose one. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I think there was an Actually, in cartoon, there was any room for it. television, there was an example of... Mm -hmm. It ends up like a picture of the man. Live action stuff was beautiful. I'm afraid Chuck did about three of those. I didn't make a stipulation. No one knows why it's funny. It's a stupid thing, huh? <laughs> 
So Walt asked for a print of this thing, and he read it, and uh, he can figure out why. You know, he talked to his, his uh, people in his the goddamn big funny. I can't do that. People laugh like hell, but I like it. It remains a mystery. I Yeah, it's speaking of it. Uh, no, I don't think Chuck could do I think, uh, I think it was the writer. Anyhow, he went to the Well, yeah. They said to the Quabble, hey, you know, listen to these titles. You know, some of them make sense. We never did. Yeah, I guess it did. Yeah. 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 Do, do not hang that in line. I don't know why. Hey, we got to put up a couple of million bucks and uh, yeah, don't know what you No, we want one I think the music has a lot to do with why the sequence is fun. Yeah, it's a, an yeah. oddball rhythm. Like, yeah, yeah. It's something. It, it always runs past the pace of the cartoon. Like yeah. those moments in the Tex Avery cartoon, the sign comes up. Exciting, isn't it? It's that, mm -hmm. same, that same kind of inter interruption in the whole thing. For those of you who are in the profession, I'm going to tell you there's a piece in there that makes me think of the profession. And I consider it one of the best pictures I ever did. But uh, it does not advance to the point where the astronaut uh, got in the box and then ran around. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and everybody said, well, we're fine. So he gets in the chair and he goes up and down and everybody falls over. It's you know, it's not kind of been something more, you know, something more intense. <laughs> and so uh, I just hit a plateau there when I didn't want it. But uh, I just hadn't, I mean, I, I thought it was fine until I took a little bit of a drop of the light. So it's interesting you know, how you, you, you see your work and you think it's good and all of a sudden there's a big booper in it and you hate it. <laughs>
And unfortunately, except for a handful of things about that, no. that is in the world of the imagination, so it's just that it's remarkable and unbelievable. It's normal. It's normal. Yes. And I know that these one person that came out made a comment that the film made the whole evening a smile. Well, I, I, uh, I didn't quite finish what you said. Because they missed the point! <laughs> 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 the whole thing. I have a film on my I was watching my dogs when I was working with 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 my well, I don't want to make that decision, but it's been done. But no bad habits, so I don't have to know and think about them. It's just what you draw. Well, I'll tell the story of the narcissist. It's been a good one. It's been a good one. So, no thanks. So, I said, well, I really want to do it. Yeah, and keep reading on the chapter. It's not going with these. Check it in my pocket. And he said, And it's famous that we borrow all of the time. His brain never stayed back in the 1930s. It's in the 1980s. 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 It's in the in the old days, in the old days, I had an art school where we had to go one night a week, three hours. But it was open every night. So I went every night for three hours, I had eight hours of work. And I had to learn how to go. But even so, for about a year, year and a half, I got to shove them out. That's not the mind. It's just rock. Barely had my hand on it. I had my hand on it. It really wasn't going to work because I'd be out of that room and it would settle on the hook. It should be over. If you talk then, it's not the story of peace. Then, in the morning, the students have to see for the rest of the week how it's going. So you can ask the question. Take one of the rooms. So he has a wife. There's an obscure and I'm doing a crowd shot there and a stupid script there. You can have any idea of the I said, I like to have to make it. It's a the whole Western plot. I don't know how many people are to like 80 So, the drive is a good hand. You know? Last two. So I had to go to uh, the direct to make shots to the New York director. He sold his job. Took a dislike to me because I drew with great speed. Every single uh, I think it was male more than five. I'm going to say this more than the eraser. And he worked the eraser more than the pencil when he was an animator. So he thought this is how you do. So I hate to he didn't like the other one. Anyhow, I went into his room and he informed me that I was going to be a part of his unit. I was going to work with an animator named Roberts, Bill Roberts. And that I was not going to do animation. I was going to fix up the changes that Paul told Bill Roberts to make on his work. And that's all I was going to do, fix up things. Well, I was furious. Going to see Roberts, I had never met him anymore. He's this little wiry man with eyebrows and eyebrows and eyebrows and beady eyes looking at everything and not liking what he saw. With a black pipe that stank. So he didn't like this either, you can tell. So uh, I sat down and he said, here's a, he told me,
It went up and down real fast like a pogo stick. They wanted to see if Daddy would shake the pieces. When the chair stopped, Daddy was fine. The chair wasn't so good, either the doctors. So, they put a new suit on Daddy with a big helmet. Daddy was ready to blast off. He went up in a big rocket. It flew so high, you could hardly see it with your bare eyes. Then he steered the rocket to the moon and got out. Daddy stuffed the stars and stripes on this mountain. This shows everybody who came here that we own the moon. Then he went back to the rocket and stepped on the gas. Pretty soon, the rocket floated down on a big battleship. Right away, Daddy was a big hero, and they even had a big parade. Everybody threw pieces of paper on Daddy, which I thought was funny. I have to throw my pieces of paper in the waste paper basket. The president invited Daddy to the White House for a sleepover and gave Daddy a big medal and everybody screamed and hollered. Daddy was real poop when he got home. He slept for two days. Next day, Daddy took me to the carnival for all afternoon. Then the first thing that we did, we got ice cream cones with six scoops. Then we went on the roller coaster. It was real scary, but I wasn't afraid because my daddy's a big hero. That ride made me feel real great, so we had two giant hot dogs apiece and a bottle of pop. This was so that we wouldn't get hungry on the Big Dipper. Big Dipper sure was funny. The seats didn't go any place, but the whole world turned round and round. When we got off, Daddy walked Bunny all the way to the Black Spider. This was a real teen ride. It was only hard to eat our sponge sugar because we were upside down so much. After that, maybe Daddy had a toothache or something because he ran away in a hurry. So I ate a chocolate bar. Daddy came back and we had one last snack. We had two cheeseburgers and two lemon malted milks, which is a new kind I made up. Then we went on the carousel. I got on this, this pink ostrich, and Daddy got on this green horse. It was keen, but the people that were going around made me a little dizzy. Daddy's horse went up and down like a racing pony. Daddy loved it because pretty soon he was hugging it real tight. Then the green from the horse went up into Daddy's face. When Daddy fell off, a lot of people yelled and ran over. Then the ambulance came, just like the movies. Then they put Daddy inside, and we had a nice ride all the way to the hospital. So now, if anyone asks what happened to Daddy the astronaut, Mommy said to don't tell them that he fell out of a carousel and broke his two legs. Grown-ups sure are funny. As my teacher says, if at, first, if at first you do succeed, don't try again. <laughs>